Hello and welcome to Project Zomboid. It's Head Rat here and this is Christopher Good once again saying hello. And we are seven, nearly eight days old. Killed 242 zombies and the weight is going up. We finally started increasing. We're at 71 kilograms. We need to get to above, I think it's above 75, certainly above 80 anyway. We want to get around that sort of area. Anyway, uh, yesterday after we come back, I did some cooking and did a little bit more housekeeping, had a nice rest. However, um, I am a bit of an idiot. I forgot to turn my oven off. And as you can see, if I stand in this corner, I burned the oven to the ground. Somehow, I managed to avoid burning the whole house down. I don't know how I did that. I was a very lucky chap indeed that only the oven burned down. So, Head Rat's top tip when you're cooking after you're finished, switch your oven off. Okay, after that short public service announcement, um, we are going to start heading out. The rain has stopped. I took another day off um, because the rain continued. And so we, and I fixed my baseball bat, although it's, it's not great, it's, it's better than it was. So we are going to head off to Spiffo's and we're going to go and see um, if we can get in there finally. As I've, I'm, I'm starting to run out of food, I also need some more cooking implements because unfortunately along with the oven I managed to burn my cooking pot, which is genius really. So uh, I'm going to need a new one. Oh, oh dear. Okay, that wasn't really part of the plan. Um, interesting. Well, before I try and put the car back up right again, uh, let's just take this guy out. I've not had that happen before. I guess I turned the corner a bit sharply. Oh! Long blunt's gone up. Fantastic. Um, I don't know if I can just push it over. No, that's not going to work. Right, okay then. So what I'm going to need is my other car. Good job we've got two. Okay, now let's see if I can avoid doing the same thing with this one. Oh, hello. There we go. No. There we go. Alright, switch this off. Let's get out, deal with this. Oh, there's another one over there. We've got a few in the area. They must have come in during the rain. Let's get rid of them. This, um, with the loss of the cooker, and in any case we're going to be losing power soon, uh, with the loss of the cooker, it means that I definitely need to find somewhere else to live. This uh, this place is not a good place anymore. So, we're going to go and have a look at Spiffo's, see what's going on there. See if I can find, um, if there's any food in there, get any more uh, cooking equipment and then actually we can go through it to this way can't we let's see how many zombies we've got this side i didn't i dump a load of them off here so we should have quite a few in this area which is behind spiffos that might be half of the problem all right we'll stop here we'll get out and we'll go to work Let's get rid of some of these. And hopefully today we can get in to Spiffo's. I'm over here. Here I am. Lovely. Well done. Let's see what else we got going on. There they come. Right. Let's get rid of these and get ourselves in. I want to be in and out. And uh, Ideally, I'd like to go around and check a few other places out today as well. I don't want to spend all day trying to get into Spiffo's. Any behind? No. Good, good. Any more? No. Let's have a look around. We'll do a perimeter check. Once again. Mm. 
and we have a few out the front. These may have followed us back from the car when uh, we brought them in in the previous episode. Oh, well, that didn't last long. It's not going to be any good repairing that again. Oh, what's happened there? Don't know, something happened. Um, I, it wasn't doing as what I asked it to. Come on, buddy. There we go. Go down. Why are you not... Okay, that's not good. I don't know why it wasn't swinging. I was trying to swing it. Oh, well, she was on the ground and it wasn't working. Uh, that's concerning. I'm going to go to the wrench, I think. How many have we got in here? Looks like not many. So let's take this one out. Good, good. Any more? Let's check it out. In the kitchen. Yeah, we got one in here. I think the back door's broken open as well, so uh, I want to be careful. Let's close that. Okay, can hear a banging. Oh, jeez. Right, why are you there? You were the one that was in here. All right, let's take you down. Okay, any more in here? Doesn't look like it. Let's see what we've got see what all our work has been for uh, fire extinguisher well that would have been useful for my oven uh, not a lot there ah empty cooking pot yeah we definitely need to do one of those after burning down my oven straws I don't really need and got to be careful with the back door open. In fact, I'm going to go and just check that out. Anything out here? No, they're far enough away. Okay, let's get in and get done quick as we can. Hot sauce, no. Potato, I will take. Yeah, that's rotten already. Pepper's good. My concern is that all of this is going to be rotten and no good. There might still be some stuff in the fridge and freezer that'll be useful. But other than that... Uncooked, 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 uncooked. Yeah, we'll have all of that. And all of this while the power is still on. We are, we're on about day eight, I think day seven, day eight, something like that. So we have not got much time before the power goes out. And I suspect all this food that's lying around here on these tables is going to be rotten. Yes, it is. That's a shame. Anything in the bin? Cockroach. 
I'm good. Spitho Spiffo's apron. Yeah, all this food that's lying around is going to be utterly useless now. We're here a couple of days too late. That rainstorm may have um, finished off whatever was potentially any good. So Spiffo's a bit of a bust. Right, so what I want to do today is I want to find us a new base and I'm going to work on um, the uh, the bar down here I think this uh, it's busy I think this potentially is our new home we need to just Clear out. Uh, here they come. Okay. Let's get around here. Get to work. Anything there? No. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Baseball bat would have been better. It's a shame it broke. Let's get rid of it. It's no good now. How are we doing? We need smoke. I need to get them more string, stringed out, so let's go around here first. Anything this way? Nope. We'll get them coming around the corner, and that should line them up a bit better. Work our way around and head back again. Nothing that way, it's just this these ones. Okie dokie.
right, we're getting there slowly. This weapon is a lot weaker than the baseball bat, but we don't have one, so there's no point complaining too much. All the others are back at base. Come on, go down. That everybody? Brilliant. Okay, let's head back. There might be a few clustered around the car. Oh, and have we got anything to eat? Is that too heavy? No, good. Anything to eat at all? Bowl of stew, fabulous. Let's eat half of that. Some guys there. Got one here. Oh, where are you going, pal? Hi. Okay. Let's go back along here. I would like to get in and see what the condition of the the bar is. It should. Hopefully it's got some bits and bobs in there. There should be a freezer and a cooker. If not, then uh, I'll have to br bring them in from elsewhere. But this is a good place. It will require quite a lot of improvement, but there's a lot of woodland down here. I can cut the trees down, assuming I can find an axe. Um, and I may have the axe in the lockups that I was showing you in the last episode while the helicopter was racing around so um, we should hopefully be able to get ourselves an axe and then it's just a whoa hoo, hoo, hoo. right too close to the trees let's move away There could be any number of zombies hiding in those trees. Uh, out the front here is a much better place. We've even got a nice looking car. Okay. This is a better place to fight. Oh, what have you got on your shoulder? Looks like some kind of a knife. down. Well done. Ah, screwdriver. No good. I already have plenty of those. Let's have a little look through here. Okay. It's locked. That's annoying. But you've got... Um, one of the benefits of this place is you've got this fence here already, so that's half, well, it's, it's one side closed off, and then you just, uh, it's quite a large fence, but, uh, oh dear. Yeah, I don't really feel like taking those on at the moment, so what we will do, we'll... I don't really want to break windows. Maybe the back door's open. It is. Good. Anybody inside? Sneak in quietly. Okay. I don't know why I'm whispering. They can't hear me. Well, there's no alarm. And this place looks pretty good. Let's check down here. Anyone out back? It's a bit dark. Let's switch the light on. While we've got power, might as well use it. Yeah, we have a visitor there. Hence, flashing doors is a really good idea. 
Let's take him out. Come on, buddy. Hi. All right, any chance you've got a key on you? No. Oh. Uh, no, sadly not. All right, so anybody else? No. And no, so we're good. Lunch bag. Nothing in there by the looks of it. And uh, what we got on here, anything interesting? Not so much. We've got a couple of bins, which is good. Looks like we've got some beers on the table. Uh, cigarettes? Yes, it is. I'll have those. Thank you very much. And cigarettes and lighter and some more beer. Yeah, I think we could make a good home here. I uh, got a fridge, which is good. Lots of alcohol. But the bottles will come in useful um, for making Molotovs. And uh, we'll show you Molotovs um, later. They are lots of fun. Especially for taking out large numbers of zombies. Um, not a lot other than alcohol and a few cigarettes glasses what was that yeah, never mind and there is no cooker so we're going to need to get one of those and I'll see if I can get one that I don't burn down okay well this looks like it's potentially going to be our new base. This will be an excellent place here to uh, put our vehicles. And we'll just continue the fence around. And then back down to the side of the building. Probably going so we just cover that side window. We don't want them breaking in through the side. So the fence all the way down here to the side window. And then... Oh, hello. I'll uh, deal with you in a moment. Um, and then we've got a fence here around this hard standing all the way up to this wooden fence. So we can easily fence this in, give ourselves a large base, and get in, bring in a, a generator, hook that up, and give ourselves some power. I think that's what we're going to do. Fabulous. So let's take care of this one bloke down here. I don't want him breaking all my windows. At the moment, the base is looking... Oh, this building is looking in pretty good condition. Oh, there's a few of you, isn't there? <gasps> no, do not break my door. Hey. I'm over here. There we go. Right, how many of you are there? Just the two? Well, let's see, shall we? Let's bring them all out. Excellent. Okay, let's get busy on them. Just you? Oh no, got a couple more friends. I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll go around and make sure we don't... Don't want you going up to the building. Okay, that's it. Brilliant, well done zombies, excellent, good job. Looks like that's it. And we'll clear this area out more thoroughly. I'll get some more weapons. And tomorrow, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back home. I'm going to gather up what stuff I need and start 
bring in the equipment here and we're going to move base assuming the car works excellent ow okay so that's a lamp post good idea to try and avoid them Oh, a burger joint. Might be an idea to see if we've got any more food going. Have I got time? Yeah, I got time. And bait shop. Okay. Well, maybe we'll have a little look at this lot before we go back. That's it. There you go. There we go. And the bait shop's pretty good because just up here we have got the river. It is called Riverside, this town, after all. Um, and so we can go fishing in there and get ourselves some food. So the bait shop will be an excellent place to get fishing tackle from. Fishing Worlds, fishing tackle. Um, I don't know if I've got a fishing book, but um, if I do, it might be a good idea to start reading that and getting myself ready to go fishing. Before I do, let's just check around the perimeter of the building. Looks good. Anyone inside? It looks fairly clear. Cool. Anyone in the back? Hello, zombies. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a tight spot. I'm going to see if we've got anyone. We'll also flash this door so that's unlocked. bathroom or storage room no it's a bathroom oh, this isn't a bad little place for a base I think we're clear okay any goodies in here let's have all of this and ice cream that's always good for putting weight on flour fabulous sack of potatoes oh good stuff so we have got ourselves lots now to make bread i'm going to need salt i don't think i've got any salt yet but we'll take all of that lot maybe we'll find some in here that's going to be rotten yeah that's rotten Hot sauce, mustard, vinegar, I'll have all of that. Um, yep, have those. Take a sack. I. There's not a lot of some ketchup. The burger's rotten, that's a shame. It's really good when uh, to put on weight. No, nothing in there. Okay, well, we got a few extra goodies. And it's pretty close to evening. So I am going to call it quits there, I think. Any food? We got the rest of the stew. We'll eat that. Eating and driving. And with my driving skills, that is definitely not advisable. However, we're going to head home and get ourselves... We're going to try and head home and um, not die in the process. That would be very much appreciated. 
Okay, so that's it for this evening. Oh my god, I forgot about the accident. <sighs> I think I'm going to call it quits there, folks. Thank you very much, and uh, hopefully I'm going to make it back home in one piece. I'll see you next time. Bye.